all that unfolds, the town of Gila Bend has declared a state of emergency. Border Patrol now dropping off families seeking asylum. Families with infants who don't know where they are, don't have money or food. And the town's mayor saying no one is helping to come up with solutions for all of this. Not Border Patrol, not the governor. ABC 15's Liliana Soto speaking with a community who says they feel pretty left behind. The problem here is not the number of migrants that were dropped off. We're talking about less than 20. The biggest problem here, the mayor says, is the lack of transparency from Border Patrol, not knowing how often and how many people they would drop off and why it's happening here. In a, a, a town that has no resources, uh, very limited funding, and expecting us to take it take control of everything and we just don't have the personnel we don't have the money and we don't have the resources we have no shelters here chris riggs is the mayor of the town of hilla bend he says these families are terrified with no idea of where they were or how to get to their destinations it's unconscionable to leave these people here because quite frankly the only place i have to put them is right there in that field and they had babies with them. And to me, a baby is anybody under the age of 12. You can't do that to children. You just, you can't do it. It got very cold. Last night it rained. He says he had to figure out how to get them to a Phoenix shelter all on his own. We couldn't find anybody to transport them. We called every non-governmental organization, every governmental organization, and they kept just telling us, we don't have anybody that can help you. So what we ended up doing is I found two vans that I was able to borrow, uh, myself, my wife, and two volunteers managed to get them to those shelters. Have you reached out to the governor's office? I have reached out to the governor's office. I have yet to hear anything, anything back. So how did you feel when you saw the governor at the border in Douglas and not here? perplexed, don't understand why this area is being impacted and not being looked at. Those who also feel left behind are longtime residents of Gila Bend, like Beatriz Fable. Yo anoche me di cuenta en las noticias. Beatriz has been living here since the 80s. She says this is the first time she's seen migrants dropped off alone right in front of her home. Pero sí es triste mirar a tantas personas que vienen desde lejos, ¿verdad? Dejan sus hogares y vienen a un lugar donde no conocen a nadie. Y pues se les tiene que tratar con compasión. The mayor of Gila Bend says there must be a better plan. It's not time to play politics. This is not a political thing. I'm an independent. I do not want politics brought into this. No matter what side of the spectrum you fall on, this is wrong. As far as a solution? Pick up the phone, call the governor's office, tell him to declare a state of emergency, release those FEMA funds, release any funding he can get, and help take care of these people. Granted, I know this is not really a state issue. This was made at the federal level, but we can't just leave children in the middle of nowhere. As for the situation here, one of the migrant children asked the mayor if this was Delaware. The child was trying to get there because that's where mom is. In Kila Bend, I'm Liliana Soto, ABC 15, Arizona. Yeah, we reached out to both the governor and Border Patrol on this. The governor's office sending a statement that reads in part, we have not received a formal request for resources or assistance from Gila Bend. As a local jurisdiction, Gila Bend may first work through Maricopa County for assistance. Border Patrol has not yet responded to our request.